Hey there fellow gamers, my name is Zach, and welcome to the finally long-awaited Five Nights at Freddy's 3. This is the official game, this is not like a remit, this is not like a fan-made game, this is not like... Well, a fan-made game, I already said that, but... This is the real deal, this is Scott Cawthon's official game. It's officially here, though it's kind of shocking seeing as he just released a new teaser this morning. Oh, uh, I, it could have been a couple days ago, but I didn't see it until this morning. But it's just insane that no, no one really knows what that ten men. That could have been ten hours. It could have been like ten days. But I'm going with ten hours since that seemed to be like how long it took from that picture to come up. But yeah, see right down here, Scott Cawthon. This is the official game. I'm so excited. As soon as I saw it was viable. I immediately bought it like I did too. And one thing I want to quickly mention is that I'm sorry for that blaring light you see right over there. That's my only light source. And if I didn't have that on, you would not be I would have no face cam. So I'm sorry for that, but it's pretty dark otherwise. It's not that it looks bright, but it's not really that bright. It, oh my god, I'm so excited. High spring trap. So from what we know that there we know that there's three possible enemies. There's two confirmed, but there's possibly three. There's Spring Trap as you can see here. There's Balloon Boy that he just announced maybe a couple days ago or this morning. I do not know. But there's Spring Trap, Balloon Boy, and there's what they uh, people are saying that it's a possible go like Golden Foxy or something. And that would kind of be believable, seeing as Foxy is nowhere to be found. Besides that little headlamp thing you see in that one picture. But that doesn't really count. But it could be Golden Foxy, we don't know. But we're going to find out soon. So let's see what kind of chaos we can get into, since I have made this intro long as hell. Let's go. Fazbear's Fright, the horror attraction. Local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based on the unsolved mysteries of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Featuring actual relics from... Uh, I can't read that. If you guys could read that, go ahead and pause that. That was really fast. Okay. Uh, click. Hey, hey Wait, what? glad you came back for another night. Who are I you? promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. We found some, some great new relics over what is the weekend. We're out tracking down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week. Right, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite yeah. end of the building and work their way toward you and past you and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring <laughs> as... The security guard! So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out of the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. Watch the fingers. Uh, uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. Uh, I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or something like that. So, we're gonna take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> Uh, in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. 
Yeah, I, I wasn't joking about the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spokesman, and if you let that ventilation go off live, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Okay, I don't really understand what is happening. But there's a whole lot more cameras. Holy crap. God damn, there's so many cameras. And I don't know if I have like a battery meter too. Uh I don't know I don't know if there's a wait, wait there's an eye over there. What is that? There's something back there. Uh I have no idea. Like I don't know. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi balloon boy, but what does that do for me? Okay, I made it 6 a.m., but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I... Wait, 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 what? Oh gosh, it's so different. Why is Bon? Oh, it's is that Toy Bonnie? Wait, purple. F follow me. Um, okay. I'll follow you, conspicuous blue. S O R. Wait, what the? Purple guy just destroyed Freddy? The hell was that about? Oh, I. Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes it feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suits. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents slash injuries slash death slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First we will discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound ease. This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fastened tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear. What do I do about that? What the hell? What? What? 
I only saw him for like two seconds and all of a sudden he's just boom there. How do I activate the suits? How do I do anything? I'm so confused. What? What was I supposed to do? I mean, do I, did I have to seal off that vent? I don't know if he was going left or right. I, I'm kind of doing a game here. Can you please shut up, Navi? Holy crap, I didn't... I only saw him for like two seconds and he was just boom there. What's up? But who's the new guy? Scott Cawthon's the original phone guy, which we just heard, but who's the new guy? I'm just getting more questions than I am answers. And I just started this game. Okay. So, oh, I'm just gonna calm my giblets and go at this again. So I have no idea still what I'm doing. Holy crap, I, d I don't know what to do. Like I checked Cam 14, he was right there, and all of a sudden he's just like, zoom, mama go, get ya. <laughs> Okay, so he's not really talkative this time. But... Just, holy crap, what am I supposed to do when I see him? Okay, I think that's my office. That might be... Holy crap, I don't know, I didn't know what to do. Shut up, Navi. Holy crap, I'm sorry it's so quiet, but I really don't know what I'm supposed to do when I see him. Do I have to shut off the vents? He didn't really explain that. Okay, so... F Wait, there is Foxy! He's right there! That's his hook! So he is here! I don't know why people were saying that, like, they had no idea where he is. His hook's in the bat box. Alright, but thankfully, as it seems, we... We don't have any battery Hi. usage. So, wait, what does that do? Does that, like, attract him to... ...that camera? Oh god, that spring trap! Hello? Hello? Video error. Okay. Oh crap, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hi, bull- <laughs> What the fuck? Holy shit!
Jesus Christ. I take back anything bad I have said about Balloon Boy. that noise Oh my god balloon boy Mangle is here too? Oh god, what do I do about that? What do I do about that? Hi, spring trap. Um. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Um. Hi? I don't know what I'm supposed to do! He's staring at me right in the face! Holy balls! Oh, I, I had no idea whatsoever that man or Mangle was going to be here too! Oh great, so now I'm Toy Bo- is this Bonnie or Toy Bonnie? He looks too blue to be regular Bonnie. Follow me. You, you killed me before. Why am I following you? You just killed me. Okay, there's dead Toy. There's dead Freddy. Now I'm about to die. Yep, there I go. There's purple guy. Okay, before the next episode, before night three starts, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut, take a break. I'm gonna be done. But just holy crap! I hope you guys are enjoying this. This game is amazing, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'm not gonna listen. Not gonna listen. Okay, I'm done. I'm out. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, guys.